Here is a list of the early settlers in Indian Grove Township. You can look through this list and uh, see if some of your relatives are on this list. Some of the names include uh, Crouch, Darnells, Donahoe, Moores, Phillips, Smith, Spence, Veach, and the Veaches. This is a copy of the land grant that my great-great-grandfather John Edward Bodley Sr. got for 120 acres. Uh, this was issued from the Danville Land Office in 1855. The land, the 120 acres that he got was located in Lodemia, which is a very small uh, city just north of Fairbury. Back in 1855, Franklin Pierce was the president and he signed at the bottom of this document. In the last couple of years, I've done quite a bit of research and found out most of my family tree. It so happens that I'm a fifth generation Ferbarian. Um, my uh, grandmother, Frances Ann Bodley, was actually an army nurse in uh, World War I. She grew up in Lodemia, north of Fairbury. Uh, my grandfather on that side uh, was uh, grew up in Maysville, Kentucky, and came to Fairbury in 1937. He actually had a twin brother, Charles, that died in uh, World War I of the flu. On the other side, my grandfather was Harold Dameron. He worked his whole career and retired from the TPNW Railroad and his wife, uh, Beulah uh, Cornwell Dameron, was a school teacher for many years and taught school at several schools, including Edison. I traced the Bodleys back. Uh, they came from Indiana to Illinois, but before that, they were out in Pennsylvania. It actually traces back to Major William Bodley. He served in the Revolutionary War, um, probably with um, Washington, and he, Major Bodley also owned a uh, piece of farm property in Valley Forge, so I've kind of wondered if uh, that terrible winter that that army spent there at Valley Forge was actually on his farm or close to it. I also have another relative, William Cornwell, who survived Andersonville Prison in the Civil War. And I'm a fifth generation Fairbarian. Um, I also married a fifth generation Fairbarian. My wife is a descendant of uh, Benjamin Hieronymus and Elvira Darnell. Here's an old map that shows you where Lodemia and Avoca were. Lodemia was uh, northwest of Fairbury. Uh, there used to be a railroad that ran from Fairbury over through McDowell to Pontiac. And Lodemia actually had an elevator, grain elevator, and a stop for the railroad at that location. Avoca actually was in existence before Fairbury was created. It was out on uh, Indian Creek out north of Fairbury. It was a thriving little town, had quite a few houses and a church, but when the railroad came through, it pretty much was the end of the town. The only thing left today, if you drive out in that area, is the Avoca Cemetery. Many of the houses in Avoca were actually moved either to McDowell or into Fairbury and some of those still exist today in February.